Good afternoon, my name is Peter Aleskis and I'm the National Sales Manager here at Test Products International located in Beaverton, Oregon. And I'm here this afternoon to show you, uh, I want to run through some of the features of our Model 708 um, Combustion Efficiency Analyzer. Um, this particular model will measure CO, oxygen, carbon dioxide, CO and CO2, it will show you a CO CO2 ratio. It also provides you with an excess air number, um, it can calculate gross and net efficiency, and it also provides you um, with temperature testing. Um, its LCD display is backlit, so you can read it in all different types of lighting conditions. Everything on the unit is going to be time and date stamped. There's a 24-hour internal clock so that all your tests will be time and date stamped. Um, this particular unit has the capability of storing up to 50 different tests in the unit internally. You can also print those results out using our optional infrared printer, our A7, model A740. Um, you can line it up with this infrared window, you can hit print, and you can print in real time. Um, this particular unit has a retail price, a suggested list price of $499.95. It does have a three-year warranty and a two-year warranty in all the sensors. Um, we do, <coughs> excuse me, we do um, suggest that you get this unit calibrated annually, and that's regardless of how much you use it. Um, these sensors that we use are electromechanical, meaning as soon as we take them out of the bag and initialize them into the unit, they start to degrade over time. So, regardless of uh, whether you use the unit, you know, a hundred times last season or, or only twice last season, um, you still need to have it calibrated annually. The, the calibration charge from TPI is forty dollars, um, and that includes cleanup of the pumps and all that stuff um, to get your unit up and up and going and ready for the heating season. Um, this particular unit is very simple to use. You just turn the unit on. You want to do that in an outside um, clean air environment. It's got a 30, 30 second initialization automatic test that it runs through. If there was anything wrong with one of the sensors, if there was anything wrong with the pump, um, this is the time that your analyzer will let you know that there was a problem. Inside the 20 second window, I can use the <coughs> cursor key here to select the type of fuel that I'm working on. Um, if I was working on heavy oil, LPG, or whatnot, um, natural gas. So if I kept this on natural gas, when the unit finally stopped its initialization process, that would be the gas that it defaults to the next time they turn the unit on. So if you're always working on oil, if you're always working on natural gas, you can set it once and it's going to be good to go for you next time. <coughs> on the very first screen, you're going to see the CO and the CO2 ratio. You hit the scroll enter key again and you're going to see oxygen, excess air, and efficiency calculated right there. Um, then I've got your CO and your oxygen screen. Um, what's unique about the Model 708 is it also acts as a standalone um, dual temperature tester. So it not only uses temperature to calculate um, the fuel analysis or the combustion analysis part of the, of the formula, but it also acts as a uh, standard um, dual input thermometer as well. So what you're going to want to do, turn the unit on in a clean air environment, you're going to walk to the testing area, you're going to drill a hole um, for your flu test, <coughs> and you're going to simply take your 708, you want to hook up your mini test filter onto the back of the exhaust port here. At the same time, you're going to want to hook up your flue gas probe. This goes right on the end of the exhaust port, right on the end of that mini filter. And the K-type thermocouple probe gets plugged into channel one on the back of the unit. So I'm going to plug this into the mini fuel pump assembly. And I'm going to plug this into channel one. And I'm going to drill a hole in my in, in my testing area. I'm going to insert my flu or insert my flu probe into the flu, and then I'm going to take my test. Um, this will be calculating in real time. <coughs> Very important that you have your um, unit up to steady state. Your, I'm talking about your furnace here, up to steady state before you put your flu in there. Uh, <coughs> the reason being is on startup, oftentimes the furnace will have an initial shot of CO that's very, very high, and sometimes that'll hit the sensors, and it'll take them a while to clear out. So you want to get the unit up to steady state. The, the way you know that is you can put your probe in there, um, just have the temperature attached, and then once the temperature stabilizes and you know your furnace is in steady state, then you can plug it in to the back of the unit and start taking your flue gas sample. Um, so real simple and easy to use, <coughs> and like I said, very, very affordable. Um, the Model 708 is one of our most... Uh, one of our best selling units. And if you have any additional questions or you'd like some more information on 708, please feel free to give us a call. You can do that at 1 800 
3685719, or you can always visit us on the web, and our web address is www.testproductsintl.com. Thanks so much.